The vocational skill training was a deliberate effort by Action Aid, Global Peace Development and Beacon Youth Initiative with support from GSEV to invest their potentials into useful venture to reduce their vulnerability. This is not unconnected to the 29.83% unemployment rate and 31.06% on the employment rate of Nasra State, according to the quarter four of 2020 report of Nigeria Bureau of Statistics. This is an indication that youth in the state stand the risk of being vulnerable. The country director, NAOB, said the youth who were selected from 12 communities of six local government areas were trained in tailoring, hairdressing, shoe and bag making, ICT, phone repairs and carpentry. She encouraged the beneficiaries to not just be entrepreneurs, but to be employers of labor and contribute to nation building. We didn't just equip them. We started it by training, giving one week training massively to 500 youth. Every year we conduct that training for them to realize, to give them hope. Also the call to patriotism. And we are saying they should always resist, you know, uh, issues of violent extremism, and to stand for Nigeria, to stand right, stand upright. Nasra State Governor, represented by the Commissioner for Youth and Sports Development, among other speakers, emphasized on the need to support young people to make social progress through economic engagement. The major reason for graduating these young youth is for them to have um, income opportunity and be able to generate income for themselves and become active agents in their communities and become influential group in their communities. The beneficiaries who were overwhelmed by the gesture promised to make good use of the opportunity. I'm now able to sew. I can now sew clothes. I design now with the small time they gave us. So I'm now able to sew now. I really learned a lot from them because I had literally little knowledge on computer. But when I was being enrolled, the six month plus I did at that training, I learned a lot. It is expected that effective utilization of this project by the youth will lead to achieving their aspirations. In Lafia, Jamila Abubakar, NTA News.